We are at the ancient railroad bridge of death on the Wisconsin. There's actually someone camped on that island over there. I don't have a boat, so I can't actually get over there, unfortunately. However, this is not a bad place. We're gonna throw some worms from on that post, also from right here. The water current's pretty strong because the water is pretty high right now. It's gone way, way down the last few weeks, but it's still pretty high. And uh, that's gonna leave me some opportunities to get some uh, big fish in close. It drops off about 10, 15 feet right off the dock here. And that's gonna give me some really good opportunities to get some big flatheads. They're probably going to try to, uh, at night, gonna swim in to, to get away from the strong current, probably where a lot of the bait fish are going. So we're gonna try to catch some really good fish here. Wish me luck, and hopefully we catch a giant monster. Also, there's someone's broken fishing pole here. I also saw a bunch of beer cans like right on the uh, road, like not here, but like right above. Just take your stuff with you and throw it away at home. Don't leave it here, please. This, this is always a problem with this place. Walking around, we're going to uh, place this bait somewhere out there in the depth. Probably, like I said, it's about 15, 20 feet out there. We're just gonna toss it there and uh, hopefully we'll get some fish. The thing is right now, I'm more fishing for bait than anything else. I'm not really fishing for a drum. A bunch of jet skiers here, but they're not gonna come within range, so that's fine. Like I said, people over on the other shore making camp. I can't even get on that sand tuff because the water is like 20 feet deep here. So let's see what we can get. Place under a bridge seems to have a hot bite. Let's see if we got anything here this time. Maybe I'm just not getting here in time. This time it is a fish. That other fish got off, but this is probably a drum by the look of it. Smaller hook did it. That is indeed a drum. Kind of a bigger one. I kind of want a smaller one. That's why I have this hook. Because the bigger one, I can cut this up. This is actually not that big. I can cut this up, but I don't really want to. I'm going to see if I can get a smaller one, but freshwater drum. Looks like they're a little bit further out than I would have hoped right now. Doesn't really surprise me all that much. But I actually want a smaller fish uh, to use as bait. Fishing for bait right now, if I get like a couple more like that, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and use them. They've been biting under the bridge pretty hard. This is the usual place they're at at this time of the day, I guess. Looks like this one rang again. Huh. Don't know if it's still on. It's always the question. Yeah, it's still on. Doesn't feel any smaller than the last one, I'll give you that. Just hoping for like a really small tug, but it's not heavy, it's actually pretty light. It's probably the same thing. Yep, yeah, another freshie. You know, the thing is, if we get too many more of these, I'm just gonna cut one of these. So, this one gets to go as well, because, you know, it's... If I was in St. Louis, I'd probably keep these for food, because my parents like to use these for soup. But I am not as amazing at cooking as mom, so... And I hate cleaning fish, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Just uh, let this guy go. See you, fish. See how small, small this worm shard can actually get before they stop hitting it. I feel like these are pretty desperate for food, so they'll hit almost any size of worm. Alrighty, let that flow down. I've thrown that one a little bit further out too. I'm hoping to get a bluegill. I think something else has hit it. These guys just really want to be sacrificed. If they want to be sacrificed, I'll grant their wish. This one's heavier, so I'm not gonna sacrifice it. Man, I just need a smaller one. What is, is that even a drum? Oh no, that's a walleye. That's not gonna be sacrificed. Walleye. It's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. You can't sacrifice walleyes, the elder catfish lords, because, uh, kind of illegal. Walleye, small one. Can't sacrifice this guy to the elder catfish lords. Well, game wardens wouldn't be happy. While technically not illegal to sacrifice a uh, fair-sized walleye to the elder catfish lords, we don't do such things because it makes anglers very unhappy. There we go, and off it goes. So remember folks, if you come to fish here, don't fish along the shore. Fish right under this bridge when you're tossing out bait. There's a couple of places in the dirt we can stake a pole pretty well. Make sure you have plenty of drag just in case an elder catfish does pick up your bait. Only a tiny bit of worm is really necessary to actually uh, get anything here. Because fish are hungry. And throw right out into the current. We got a blue eel on this one. That's, uh, okay, it's a little bit heavier. Well, it's probably just the current. Wouldn't mind a gill there though, because I do need bait. It's, 
Do need some bait. Nope, that's a drum. It's gonna be cut though. It's good bait. It's gonna be good bait. Guy over there gave me a shiner. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna toss the other live drum as well. I think I'm gonna give up on the lure because I've never caught anything here using a lure. So yeah, I don't think I need to toss it that far out. Just let it kind of follow the current. That's far enough. Just let it kind of follow the current. I know the flatheads will probably come down here. So there we go. Got a live bait out there and that can catch either a channel or a flathead. Decided not to sacrifice Mr. Drum Bud directly, but he is going to be used as live bait. He's kind of a big live bait, but a giant flathead would probably love to eat this guy up. So that's what we're gonna do. Giant flathead candy. He doesn't have to be very far. It's about 20 feet there, easily enough for a flathead. I'm also pretty sure there's a giant tree down there somewhere. So I don't want him to get stuck in the tree. I don't really know where the tree is. But I definitely don't want him to get stuck in the tree because that would kind of suck. That should be good enough. The current's not too strong there. And yeah, we're just gonna leave our baits out there and hopefully they don't crisscross each other and hopefully they get a big fish. As we get towards dusk, just a couple of drum in that walleye. Um, yeah, so I have two live baits out under the bridge, hopefully getting some glorious fish. Muskie would be nice, because I know muskie will bite a small drum or a shiner. Or uh, gato fish, because I know they'll do that too. If I catch a small bluegill, I'm probably going to cut it up as cut bait. But I've not caught one yet today. I'm about to put a leader onto this pole and just throw a big glob of worms out, because maybe catfish will like worms as well. All right, it's just after sun, well, just after dusk. Nothing's hit the big poles there, but I see so many blow-ups out in the water right now. And I think those are walleye, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna, th and I know they're biting minnows. See that? A ton of blow-ups on the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, throw this little bait out and see if I can get a hit. I know they're out there. They're blowing stuff up all over the place but I have not been able to get one to bite. I have never caught anything on here on a lure, but hopefully that'll change today. I got one, folks. I got one. I knew it would work. I, knew, I, don't, think it's a, I don't think it's a bad one. Oh, that's a good walleye. That is a good walleye. That is the first fish I've actually caught on a pole here, uh, on a lure. But yeah, that's a nice one, man. That is a nice one. That's probably like a 15, 16 incher on the Wisconsin. But nice walleye, I knew they were here. That's a fat one. All right guys, this is a 17 inch wally. Probably the second biggest one I've caught this year, but nice, nice walleye. I'm gonna let this guy go, cause I let all my walleye go. There you go walleye. And it rikes just off. It's a little scared, but just fine. All right, there's still a lot of blow ups out there. And I know this bait works, or this lure works. It's like one of those $1 lures too. So we're gonna keep fishing here. There are still plenty of blow ups out there and plenty of uh, minnows jumping. And this does mimic pretty well. Finally, I got something. I don't know what, but it's something. And it's not small. Is that a turtle? Tell me it's not a turtle. I didn't wait like years and years just for a turtle, did I? Please tell me it's not a turtle. Please tell me it's a gato fish of the flat-headed type. It's big, whatever it is. It could be a buffalo, because I did catch a buffalo around that area last time. It's not fighting back super hard. It's probably because I don't have the drag set. Yeah, I should actually get the drag set just in case it kills my fish. Okay, this is either a flathead, which is, and it would be a fairly large one if it was, a sturgeon, a car, a really tepid carp, or a buffalo, and I don't actually care which one it is. It's a good fish, now it's starting to fight. Oh, come on fish, you know you want to come to Papa. You don't want to, oh, you don't want to get away, come on man, I've been working, oh, oh my God, that's, okay, I don't know what kind of fish that is, but it, I can't, ha can't have it spooling me or getting caught over there. Got to be careful with this guy. Got to be careful with this guy. Come on, 30 pound fish. 
This actually feels like it's over 10 easily. Probably like a 20 by the way it's going. Is it a huge buffalo? It's coming up. What is it? What the heck is it? Come on, flathead. Flathead gothelfish, is it, is, it, is it the fish I've been wanting? Is it a flat? Actually, you know, the thing is, like, if it was a big sturgeon, I'd be fine with it too. Or actually, it's not sturgeon season, but you know, it's nice for looks. I can't see, the water's too mucky here. Yeah, I still got some drag. It's not tired out yet. I have no idea what it is. And it's pulling out drag. It's not tired yet. I think it's a flat, actually. I can't see it. It's just beyond my visual range. And it's heavy, whatever it is. I can tell it's really, really heavy. Which is, oh, it's sturge, it's sturge. Okay, it's kind of felt like it. It's a sturgeon. Sturgeon fish. That's a big one too, actually. It's an ancient fish of doom. Okay, there are fish down there. This one's an ancient fish of doom. All right, come on, sturgeon. This one's probably a good, yeah, 20 pounds or so. Sturgeon, sturgeon fish. That's a big one. I got to measure it. It's probably, it's not, I don't think it's as big as the 50 I caught last time, but it's a big one. There you go, the ancient fish of doom. All right, come on, ancient fish of doom. Jeez, this one's like not wanting to come in. Now these things don't really fight until like the end. I was, I was hoping that was a flathead, but I'll take this. This is a big one. This is a decent size one. It's not 60 or even 50, but it's probably like a 40. Come on, Sturge. All right, there you go. Sturgeon. 44 inches. Sturgeon. In the uh, peaceful water over here. It's waiting to get back in the water. Swimming by the side. It's a nice one. Three and a half footer, nearly four foot. It's gonna go back in the water and go on its way. See ya, my friend. See ya. That was a fun, fun fishing trip. Didn't get the giant flathead I wanted, but I did get two walleyes and that sturgeon. That's actually a really good place to catch big sturgeon. I've caught most of my big sturgeons at that place, but it's not actually sturgeon season, so obviously you can't keep any of the sturgeon. And I did let it go, obviously. Just show you on the camera and then let it go. Um, there are flatheads there. I just haven't ever caught one there. I have caught a channel catfish there. There are a lot of walleyes there, especially a lot of small ones. But the bigger ones do blow up the minnows around dusk. There's like a 20-minute window where they're blowing up all over the place. And if you throw like a mimic minnow out there or like some kind of like, I think, soft plastic swim bait, uh, they will bite it like crazy during that time. I was only able to get one because I basically caught the last two minutes of that window. But that is a really good place to uh, get walleye, but only really in that small window of like 20 minutes, like around dusk time. But you can get a lot of them. But once again, nice sturgeon, two walleyes and a bunch of drum. Didn't get the catfish this time, but we will try later in the summer when the water is a little bit warmer. Uh, like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, ask me any questions if you want, and I will see you guys later.